presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling and proud with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <coughs> so, excuse me, folks. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. So everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume that you are right and you may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 71, NASDAQ off 161, S&P's off 33. Gold, gold contract down $40, trading at 2,050 an ounce. We had silver down 91 cents, $24.94 an ounce. Late sweet crude off 81 cents, $73.26 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note. Down 15 ticks, trading 110.06. The 30-year down 18 at 117.19 and King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading up 433 ticks at 103.700. Euro is at 108. Yen's at uh, 147 British pounds. Is at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want we'll to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. We got some divergence out here, folks, in a big way. Mm. The first one's going to be the S&P. So what you have here is that, you know, yeah, you got the S&Ps down 32 bucks, but guess what? This is really light volume, man. Uh, you know, you get 52 million shares, and the bottom line is that, uh, you know, Friday we go up on, uh, what, 70? Uh, the prior day there, 74. Okay, so that's light volume on the way down. The Qs, however, and this is where your divergence is, okay? If we take a look at the Qs, the Qs are already in the gap. And so the bottom line is that the Qs have rejected, you know, the uh, 282, 382 out here today, 385. That being said, you're going to have an expansion of volume out here. You got into the gap. That's saying that the, the Qs want to basically close this gap. And if I go back to the S&P, what you're going to see is that, well, yeah, no, let's go through the rest of them first. Notes and bonds, bottom line, they still want higher price. If you take a look at the 10-year note, what you're going to see, really light volume, 1.4 million contracts, bottom line, you're down 16 ticks, that's nothing, okay? Now, gold, whole different ballgame, folks, okay? And this is what the gold contract last night, overnight, it ran to 21.52.30, and bottom line, you know, what that is, my take is this is a, a blow-off short-term top because you get 361,000 contracts traded. You know, you had an ABC structure up there. Bottom line, it did it. Gave it up in spades. So you got all the shots to close their position. Now, that's not a good thing because what ends up happening is that that, that means there's less buyers, okay? That being said, I suspect we're going to have to build cars for a bit. You know, we'll see where this baby goes. Um, my, my take is that we're going to 2,500, okay? But... Short term, this is going to build some cause. Bigger yet, though, is this. Most times what I've seen is that when you get high volatility inside either the gold market or the S&P, if you get it in the S&P and the gold market doesn't get hit, give it a couple days. It's going to get hit. You get it in the gold market and the S&P doesn't get hit, give it a couple days. So my take is that right now the S&P is doing a slow roll, whereas the NDX 100 is not doing a slow roll, it's going right after the gap. So the volume will expand today, we'll see how much it expands tomorrow, and you know, I think we're in a pullback right now. That's how this seems to be setting up. 
um, dollar. And more than likely, what we're going to see, we're going to see a counter trend bounce in the dollar. We take a look at this dollar. Okay, so the dollar, if I do a 0 0.382 retracement on the dollar, you know, the dollar went from 103.064 today to 103.704. And, you know, a 0 0.382 is running out here at about uh, 104.393. And that number also coincides with the fast downdraft that we got inside of the dollar. Let's go to Costa in Boston. Costa, what's going on, brother? How are you doing, Tommy, today? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Doing fine. Tommy, about Pfizer, Tommy. Bad news for the drug, the obesity drug. What effect will this have on that twenty four ninety five price that you told me a few weeks ago when I called in? You know, I think you're still going to get this. I just let it go down there and see what happens, man. You know, you had high volume Friday. You can see, yeah, you came down, you broke. Let me see, actually, that this might be an ABC down to that level. One second, let me put this on a weekly. Huh. Yeah, it is. So, question is, where do I take it from? Right, right there, actually, You'd make a small one. So what's 33? That's, oh my God, I wish I could. It's 28, so you get like five bucks. This thing wants to go after that high volume low. That's what's going on here, Costa. And I just let it be until it gets, gets it. I mean, it gets closer and closer. And you, and you do have an ABC down right now on a weekly basis. So I suspect that that, you know, COVID low is going to get touched, man. That's what it looks like. Hey, Tommy, thank you. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So let's go to the silver market, and we take a look at silver. So what you have with silver out here, silver's down 93 cents, big number. Now, silver didn't spike like gold did. Uh, bottom line is that uh, we take a look at that silver market, but they took it apart, man. You got, uh, we got over 100,000 contracts inside the silver market. So what we haven't got yet is a destruction of price inside of the gold equities, okay? But what you do have, and this is where it's gonna get kind of wild, is that the GDX, you can see that, you know, bottom line, we went top side in the GDX, nice volume, 43 million, you pull them back with 32. So what we very well could have is this. This is what you wanna watch if you're in the gold market. Last week, we broke top side and we took out the whole consolidation. I suspect what's going to happen here is that we're going to come back to the breakout area and we'll see whether we come back with light volume. If you come back with light volume, bottom line, if you're not in, that's a place that you can buy. Um, volatility, though. <laughs> uh, big numbers out here, folks, okay? And we'll see if it's going to basically fly from the gold market into the S&P. Right now, the S&P today is, is calm. That's, that's the bottom line. I mean, it really is calm. If we go look at the VIX, you get the VIX. Yeah, the VIX is calm too. The VIX, the VIX got to 1370 and we're at 1310, so it's no big deal. Stay right there, folks, to come back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now down 59. You get the NASDAQ off 167. S&Ps are off 32. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is right now down 51. The Nasdaq's off 164. S&Ps are off 32. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and end every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve is live on the air every trading day, 11 to 12, Eastern Standard Time. Also, it's a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters. You're going to just hit newsletters. You're going to see it in the top right-hand side. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $100. $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you get it for one full year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30 day money back guarantee, folks. And in chat, in fact, we got the Tiger Dollar sale. Check it out. You know, you can get Tiger Dollars, you even get a discount. But the bottom line, it's an outstanding newsletter. Uh, all the different tools that Steve works with every day. Bottom line, you get the newsletter, you're going to get all those tools. And, of course, you've seen that the, the prints that Steve does. It's pretty uh, dramatic uh, each and every day for his clients. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, <laughs> you know, this is the we've entered the favorable seasonal time of the year for football, as far as I'm concerned. Yes. This is when it really ramps up, right? Yes. And if you are a Florida State fan, and I put one and a half kids through Florida State. I, I love they're, it. They're in tears today because, to a certain extent— they got the short end of the stick on Sunday, yesterday at noontime, when they've had got an undefeated season, 14-0. Oh. They're the ACC champs, and they moved from number four to number five in the playoff spot. And Texas, that, and that Texas, means that they're not in the playoffs, right? They're not. They're not. They're not in the big playoffs. I, you know, that's I true. was looking at that man, and, and it was like th th that's kind of a screwed up uh, way to do this thing, man. Yeah. It, well, which I think they're looking forward to getting next year because you're going to have more teams in playoffs and right. so forth. So it should help to avoid this. But, um, yeah, it's a uh, it's not that Texas is not a good team. They're a great team. You know, they just yeah. happen to have a loss against uh, against Alabama and then Alabama beats Georgia. Right. Uh, you know, it was a field goal it was a three point. It was a field goal that missed really just I think what happened in the game is they scored a field goal. But there was a timeout that was called or something or there was a penalty. And then they went to kick the next field goal and it was five yard <laughs> penalty. And the, it, you know, it, it missed the it missed the upright. So, you know, know. It, yeah, pretty crazy out there. But still my favorite time of the year. I just have to console two of my kids. I bet. Uh, you know, because they, they haven't really seen much since. Uh, and if you've ever been in Florida, case. folks, you know, the bottom line, those two big Florida schools, 
they are competitive beyond belief. And they're, yeah, well, look, you, you, USF is it, a great, uh, yeah, great football oh, team. So yep. UCF has had great football teams. It, it, Even down here, FAU. No, so no, it's it, a big it, football state. It, it's amazing. These Florida schools, they start and then they just end up being monsters anyway. I mean, even the they small, are. since I've been down here, just like I said, USF was a small school when I got down here. And now, granted, it's 23 years ago. But it's yeah. like, boom, boom, boom. I mean, you 40, know. 40,000 students or so. That's <laughs> wow. big. That's big. Yeah. That's big. That is very big. So last night, I'm going to add add a little bit of context uh, cool. as well, what I'm seeing here, some of the markets that you were, you were discussing. So last night, right at about 6.53 p.m., gold made that new all-time high. And then, as you say, it went ahead and sold off. Now, at 6.28 p.m. last night, the U.S. dollar index made a low. And since then, it's rallied. So 25-minute uh, difference here in time, but still important to take a look at. This chart here is looking at the daily correlation between gold and the U.S. dollar. The upper panel of the chart is gold. Bo uh, center panel is the uh, U.S. dollar index. The bottom panel is the correlation. Now, this is set to a five-day average. And it shows, as we've discussed many times, it has a pretty good direct inverse relationship. Dollar up, gold down. Not to really repeat that commercial on television, but but yeah, we, we've got that. Now, this is the daily correlation of, uh, of, of price for silver and the U.S. dollar. And we can see that it, too, has got that strong relationship. So let's go check out some of the patterns, see what else was going on last night. In this chart here, if we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, what it did was it rallied right into profile resistance and that was at 103.768 for people not familiar with the term profiles if you take a look at my charts here if you watch this on tiger tv on most charts you'll see three horizontal lines those lines represent where buyers and sellers are at the bottom line is where the buyers are located the top line is where the sellers are located oftentimes you'll see a center line and that center line is where both buyers and sellers believe there's fair value with inside that range. In the case of the U.S. dollar index, which is the upper left-hand chart, it's got a bearish structured profile. I mean, there's a, more sellers that reside between 103.42 and 103.76. So we have the U.S. dollar index testing resistance. And then if we go down to the bottom left-hand panel chart, silver is testing profile support. And that's at 24.897. Now, I took this snapshot maybe about a half an hour ago. I'm not exactly sure nice. where silver is trading right now. But you've got the dollar at resistance and silver at support. And that's something to pay attention to. If we take a look at gold, silver, and the GDX, that's going to confirm a sell the D point pattern today. And what I've got low, uh, uh, identified on these charts here, you can see the A to B equals CD pattern for the GDX. It traded just above the one to one price projection of 3156. Today we've got a bearish reversal signal, a bearish separating candle. That's how I identify when a top is put in. The, the, the uh, participants in the market will generate bullish, or in this case here, bearish reversal candles. Now, the cool thing. Thing here is that the GDX is also forming a new profile. So the level to be watching there is 3046. Not until profile support gets broken can we suggest that there is some type of change in trend. For, for what period of time, we don't necessarily know. But right now, we just have a consolidation of the GDX between the profile levels. So I'd watch 3046. And so that makes also the profile level in silver, which we already covered at 24.89. Key and gold is also attempting to form a new profile. That's the lower right-hand chart. So I'd watch 2023, 20, 20. Now I'm using a advanced Doppler tool, Tom, to create these profiles. I'll have confirmation at 6.01 this evening as to whether these profiles have taken hold or not. I know the information is valid. It's just whether or not uh, when the, when the uh, futures reset at night, whether these will take hold or not. My conclusion is that if the U.S. dollar index closes above profile resistance, 103.768, then gold will go ahead and at least target the bottom of that profile, 2023. From a seasonal perspective, when I talk seasonal perspective, folks, I'm referring to the last 55 years. What we've just entered is a short-term unfavorable seasonal cycle. So it says what Tom just said before we came on the air, that he believes that this is just a short-term top. Well, even though Tom didn't probably realize it at the time, it matches up exactly. How do you do that, by the way? It matches up exactly with a 55-year seasonal chart. And that suggests that we should see a bottom right around the 14th. So, folks, if you're, if you're, you know, I know you were talking about the uh, gold report out there. Now is really a great time to be able to get that so that you can try to identify and time that next bottom out there. Now, I don't want anybody to conclude that metals can't rally in the face of a rising dollar. As this monthly chart here shows, the green arrows, you can see that we've got the bottom since 2008 in the U.S. dollar. And gold is trading well above its low from 2008 as well. 
We also saw a bit of a sell-up in the U.S. indices. In the NQ, you talked about that. That's taking the brunt of it. Turns out, if you take a look at the upper right-hand chart out here, folks, price was pulling back and testing support as well. And that was at 15,748. Not until support gets broken. So watch that 15,748 level overnight. If we do get a close below that, Tom, that says we head to 15,465. But how I would just wrap this up is we've got a move inside the U.S. dollar index that found resistance. Silver found support. The GDX and gold are trading within their profile, so they have not given us a change in trend signal out there. And with regard to the NQ, by the way, the ES Mini is very bullish out here. But with regard to the NQ, we still have to watch that level of support, 15,748. And folks, those profiles that Steve's talking about are crucial. Because yeah, what absolutely. ends up happening, like you get a day like day, you think there's a lot of red. But the bottom line is that when it's only going to the bottom of the profile, it doesn't mean a thing, right? I mean, exactly. Just yeah, testing Pretty support. wild. Listen, yeah. man, have a great one, safe one. Thanks, we look Tom. forward to the show tomorrow, Steve. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. you. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 66. You get the NASDAQ off 146. S&Ps are off 30. And, folks, we started our Tiger Dollar sale on Friday. So the way Tiger Dollars work is that uh, bottom line is that they're good for any product at TFNN, no expiration, and they're totally transfer. Now, this is how we discount product at TFNN. We do it twice a year. We do it once at the end of June, and we do it in December. Uh, bottom line, the way it works is that you can, you know, if you're getting any product at TFNN, it's the way that, you know, you can get it for a less expensive price if you're looking for product in the future bottom line still the same thing and the way it works you can buy 500 dollars worth of tiger dollars 
you get 600. That's a 20% bonus. You can buy 1,000, and that gets you uh, 1,200, 20% bonus. And the max is that you can buy 1,500, and that gets you uh, 2,100. So check it out the front page of TFN. Now this is over on December 17th. Okay, so you get you know you get a you get a couple weeks in order to do this, but check it out. A uh, great way to basically if you are getting any newsletters now, if you're coming to any workshops, uh, all of the above. Nice way to save some money. So let's get into this because this is uh, I can tell you you know I've seen this in the gold market before, and. You know, first I want to get into GDX for a second. You know, I, I like the idea that when we were just interviewing Steve, that, you know, a few of these are just coming back to profile, okay? So what does happen is very important because what profiles are, folks, okay? So picture the, when I do price and volume, that's why I love profiles so, so much, okay? When I do price and volume, you know, bottom line is that we're going, let's say to the X-axis, that's along the bottom. Well, profiles are going to Y-axis on the sides does the same thing though okay what it's looking for it's looking for where is the instrument that you're trading have traded the most and that's where those profiles come in meaning that's what basically brings support in or resistance in okay so the bottom line is that when they hold profile it's a it's a big deal it's a, it's absolutely a big deal now when i take a look at the gdx you know, it's, that's saying to me that, okay, we, it took us a long time to break topside number one, okay? It was four months. You broke topside, you had volume on the break. Now, even today, it's 34 million. Well, we, we went topside with 41, 42, actually. So when you look at that aspect, it's pretty cool because it's like, okay, if you're going to come all the way down to the, the breakout area, which equities, currencies, they all love to do that, Okay. The bottom line, what you're going to be looking at, you're going to be looking at, number one, does it come down with light volume? Number two, does it have a rejection of lower price when it gets there? That's what you want to be looking at. Now, I want to get into the S&P for a second, though, because here's the, the huge divergence. The S&P, as Steve said, is really bullish, man. Okay? You know, <laughs> this S&P, we hit 454 this morning. You're at 456. You only have 56 million shares traded. Now, that being said, what I have seen, you know, quite a few times is that it takes, whether it's two, three, four days in order to basically get the high volatility in the S&P. My point is, is this, you normally do not see the type of volatility inside the gold market. It doesn't stand by itself. The S&P and gold love running together. I know that sounds the same, but the bottom line, they do. That's, that's, if I learned anything over the last you know, 20 years, that's, that's one of the things that I've definitely learned. The thing that's really intriguing, so listen to this. I was, when I was riding early, I was up for lunch. And the, on Bloomberg, they had an analyst on this. This was a trip in itself. They had an analyst on, now he's, he's, he, was, he was a gold bull, okay? And the bottom line is that he was saying, yeah, you know, might get a pullback and all this stuff, okay? But he was talking about the aspect, now listen to this. He was talking about the aspect that if you actually go back, he was going back 50 years. No, he's going back 30 years. He's going back 30 years. And he was talking about the aspect that he thinks that the 45.72 that the S&P is trading at, actually, that that's where gold should be trading at. Now, this is what does happen, folks, when you get large moves in the gold market or the oil market or anything like this, okay? Um, but his analysis, okay, his analysis was pretty good. Um, you know, it's, so we'll see where this whole thing shakes. I, I'm not in that camp right now, I can tell you that, okay? But I'm in the camp of, of 2,500. The real kicker is going to be, do we get the volatility inside of the indices. And if we go to the NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX, okay? Today, you know, you got IDEX go up 6.5%, you got Illumina up 4.5%, uh, you get Comcast up 3.9. Taken away from it, you get Sirius Satellite down 7. Uh, you get Trade, is that Trade Desk, I think? 
Yeah, Trade Desk is off uh, four, and Intel is off three. Now, let's go to Meta for a second, because this is where things can move out a bit. Now, Meta is only down five bucks, and you're at 319.43. You know, we, we just hit a high here about five days ago, up in the 340s, right? Well, what Meta also has is a high volume low. <laughs> I mean, it's sticking out like a sore thumb. Man. You know, that thing, we're at uh, 319 and that thing's at 279, that high volume low. And then on top of that, what you have is that you have, this is the first time that Zuckerberg is actually selling shares in a long period of time. And Tommy brought up a great point this morning. So, so picture this, they always claim, you know, Mark Zuckerberg is selling Meta Platform stock for the first time in two years. Um, the Meta co-founder uh, trust, as well as the entities for his charities and political giving, unloaded uh, 682,000 shares worth 185 million in November through trading plans. Okay, with the latest disclosed Wednesday. Now, the cool that well, it's not cool, but to understand what, what Tommy was questioning is that okay, you have a trading plan, right? And the bottom line is that, you know, you can sell so much in a trading plan. Well, bottom line, why didn't he sell any in the last two years? And I suspect what it is is that he knew that the equity is going to go higher. So they have it both ways, that you can actually, more than likely, that's what it looks like here, that, yeah, you can sell if you want, but if you don't want to sell, guess what? You don't sell. Now, my point is this. The market, this is not down a lot today compared to what, because this came out this morning, okay? Uh, bottom line is that, and then uh, let me go to NVIDIA, because NVIDIA, the insiders are also unloading, okay? Let's see. Here we go. Corporate insiders are increasingly uh, betting on shares of their own firm boss. Let's see. NVIDIA executives and directors last month sold or filed paperwork showing that they intend to sell 370,000 shares worth another $180 million, okay? So when you start getting the high flyers and the insiders are starting to sell them, that's when you can, you get a little steam train and that can start accelerating. And both of those just come out this morning. So stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. 
That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's take a look at some of the higher vol. Well, actually, let me look, let me look at this volume first. So if we look at the volume inside the indices out here, right now, yeah, see, this is shot volume on the way back, man. You know, the Dow has only done 543 million. Um... You know, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we, well, Thursday, we did 1.9 billion in the Dow. Um, Friday, a billion. You know, so this is going to be a small pullback inside of the Dow with light volume. Now, we go to the composite, and we take a look at the composite, and the composite's going to be huge volume. We're going, we're going down, man. We're going down. See, they're unloading this thing. We're already at 5.4 billion on the composite. We did 5.6 on Friday. Let me put this up. So they're trying to get out as quick as they can. CCMP. And you can see the unloading of paper in a monster way here. Yeah. So the, here's the gap. See, the composite's not down to the gap yet either. And that's another heads up, man, because it's like, okay... When you get a gap that's this big, that gap is huge, man. 14,171 we're at. The bottom of that gap is uh, 13,800 something. Okay, so it's not a huge amount, but it's 300 points. And then, you know, the bottom line is that, you know, we'll, we'll see what, did you get a rejection of lower price there? Well, let's see what this is. We take this. Let's put it up. Yeah, it, a 0.382 is actually a little bit lower than that. <clears throat> Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today <clears throat> in the marketplace. Come on. There you go. Okay, so we have... You get Riot Platforms, that's up a buck 30. That's going to be all about... We'll go look at Bitcoin in a second, too. NVIDIA is down 11 bucks. You got Alphabet off uh, 260. There's not a lot of movement over here, man. Not for, you know, what this is looking at. Let me go look at Microsoft, MSFT. Yeah, Microsoft rejected 362. You're at 369. Let me see this. This is quite a, quite a movement on Microsoft here. Look at that. Yeah. So it opened down, got down a low. It's doing like a 50% retracement of that right now. Amazon, we take a look at Amazon. Amazon did the same thing, man. Yeah. So the battle's going to be on here. You know, the real question is, is that does the NDX and the composite drag the S&P down? You know, or is this something that's going to come out of left field? In order to drag it down, you know, and, you know, the, the wild thing is that we, even today, this is still window dressing today, you know, I mean, it'll get, it'll get cleaned up, um, you know, basically after today, but uh, you're still there. If we go overseas now, let's go overseas and look at the DAX for a second, because these, the DAX and the S&P are trading together, 
you know, if we look at the DAX, you can see the DAX was, you know, up seven points today. You know, last, last week, just as we broke top side, the DAX broke top side, and I suspect they got volume on it, too. Yeah, they did. Look at that thing. There it is right there. Actually, the, the day we, when, when it broke, it had big volume, but then the next day it was, has huge volume. We take this, we put this on a monthly. Yeah, look at this. Holy cow. One second. I really look at this. Is this? <laughs> the DAX is at an all time high, man. That is a mind blower. Yeah. The DAX is at an all time high. <laughs> so much for recessions around the world, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's. I wasn't expecting that, I can tell you that. I look at the DAX every day, but uh, what, I, what I do, folks, is I look at the percentage gain because they're, you know, four hours ahead of us, where they're at versus where we're at, and then basically speculate, uh, okay, where is the buying going to come in? Because it works pretty well, you know. If the, if the, if the DAX, you know, and this morning was the same deal. You can see this S&P right now is only down $25, which is nothing. 25 bucks. I mean, are you kidding me for the type of move that we had done topside? Yeah. That's... Now, inside the gold market, you talk about a stock that's getting absolutely destroyed. That was one of the strongest stocks inside the gold market. That's Franco Nevada. You know, Franco Nevada, in fact, uh, when I was doing the gold report this morning, watch this. This thing has a high volume low, and this is like pretty sick, man. And that high volume low is laying out there, well, 110 is laying at 77. Now, it hasn't broken the consolidation at the lows yet. And what this is all about is that this is still all about the mine in Panama, that is the largest, one of the largest copper mines in the world. And what has happened is that the Folks in Panama feel like that it was a fixed deal, number one. So what ended up happening, it went to the courts. The courts agreed. And bottom line is that, uh, you know, Franco Nevada acted as the bank, you know, for Quantum. That's Quantum is the one that basically has the, has the mine. And bottom line, it doesn't, it doesn't look good for them, man. That's, that's what it comes down to. Now, what's going to be really interesting, you know, there's a couple good cases at the Supreme Court this week. Now, one of them, this is where it's really wild when you open cans of worms, okay? One of them has to do with, uh, if you remember a few years ago, I think it's five years ago now, okay? The bottom line is that you could bring the amount of profits that you made overseas back to the U.S. and you'd pay a tax, but it would be nothing like the tax you had to pay. Well, to make a long story short... And this was on profits you gained or unrealized profits. The, the kicker here is unrealized profits. What would end up happening is that a couple that had a, one of their neighbors, okay, has a company in India, and they invested in that company. And the IRS is saying that they want a tax on, and this is all about $14,167, like okay, that they wanted to tax this unrealized profit. Well, this is going to the Supreme, it's at the Supreme Court, it's going to, you know, bottom line is that they'll be questioning this whole this week. The key, the kicker here is that it very well could open up huge amounts of other cases. Oh, uh, well, if we stay with Enrealized profit, profit first, they're going to they're gonna basically rule on that. And that... I mean, when you have an unrealized profit, that seems insane, right? You, you pay money for something you haven't even profited from yet, and then it goes down. And then you didn't, then, so you paid money, and then it goes down, and you made no money, right? So I, I, can, I, can, I, I see their beef. The thing that's amazing to me, and I've seen this happen before, is that it's not one of the big monsters that are out there. It's like a couple, just like, you know, you and your wife, me and my wife, whatever that is. And it can open a whole new deal up. So that's going to be a big case. That's going to be a big case. Dow, Dow Industrials right now, 
Uh, look at this. That one's going green. Uh, down 24. Nasdaq's off 108. S&Ps are off 21. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Let's go to the small caps. The small caps, uh, bottom line, had a heck of a day, heck of a week last week. Uh, bottom line, that broke top side has an ABC structure up and continued higher today. So this is going to be really interesting, man. Uh, if I put this on a weekly, let's see how this shakes out. So on a weekly, yeah, this wants to go to the top of the range, too. You know, right now you're at 186. The top of that range is 198. Uh, that's what it looks like. You know, you had, you had two separate signs of strength. We had a sign of strength last week. You had a sign of strength uh, four weeks ago, also, when it came off the lows. You can see that expansion of volume sideways. You know, the second last week, even though it was a big week, you didn't have the expansion of volume, but you can see the way that that's setting up. It's setting up the same type of way that the S&P set up, the gold contract set up, uh, all of the above, meaning that it's going to go up to where those three highs were lined up, and we'll see whether it can take them out. You know, it's, it's going to be pretty, uh, my take is that we get a wild week in front of us. That's how I think this thing is setting up. Uh, what is going to be cool, if we go back to the gold contract a second, um, is will the call gold contract... See, there's two different things that end up happening when you take so many shots out. What would happen is that it takes a long time for everyone to start shotting the contracts again, okay? So, 
the, the real question is, is that how many sellers do you actually have? Particularly because they basically blew everyone out. So, you know, I suspect we're going to try to, you know, get down to where we broke out and we broke out from this uh, 2000, early 2001 level. I suspect we'll get there. We already, we already got to 2038, so, and we're at 2047. 2001 is not going to be a stretch. The real question is going to be, you know, do you have a contraction of volume? Now, high volume highs love to get tested. The problem with high volume highs, all those folks, is that you really don't know when that happens, okay? Particularly, you know, they get 365,000 contracts up there, you know, so it's going to be a wild one then. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Don't forget about the Tiger Dollar Sale if you want to save some dollars on all the products of TFN. Come join Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. <laughs>